Hey, what's up GC community and welcome to our sixth member spotlight. Every single month we do one of these and we take recommendations from you in the Discord community as to who you'd like to see in these spotlights. And one person that's always popped up every single time I've asked for recommendations is Nono Zorobo. So we've got him in for this spotlight for June and it's an absolute, it, is a, it was an absolute pleasure to go through this with him to be honest with you. I've played with Nono before in streams, he's jumped in, he jumps in chat now and then he's a very active member within the community. He is currently an LT and a moderator as well. He's been with us for some time and today we're going to get to learn more about his Discord journey with us, also his gaming journey and um a bit more about him as well even though i've played with him before i learned so much about him in this hour speaking with him he's such a passionate guy and it, it was an absolute pleasure as i said i hope you enjoy the spotlight today and be sure to post any recommendations down below in the comments if there's anyone else you'd like to see in these spotlights going forward and we're going to be doing them every single month as i've said i'm looking to rejig them maybe change some things you got any recommendations or whatever how you'd like to see the spotlights to go i'm all ears Enjoy this one though. No no Zorabo again. Thank you for taking time out to do this with me. It was an absolute pleasure. Enjoy. So Robo or no no Zorabo, thank you for taking part in our June member spotlight. This is our sixth one. A lot of people have requested that we do this with you. Uh you got so much love towards you in the community. So many people, um, I don't know, through your hardcore playthroughs on the division or your your moderation, your clan lieutenants and everything. So thanks for joining us. And today we just want to get to know more about you. So right. we're going to get straight in to the first question then. Um, we always ask, when did you join our community and what, what made you join us? Um, so I joined the community... Uh, first of all, uh, hello and welcome, everybody. Um, <laughs> I joined the community in August of uh, 21. Uh, I was a uh, like, uh, late player for the division because uh, I think I bought the game uh, right after uh, TU12 came out. Uh, that was uh, around like April 2021, something like that. And uh, I kind of fell straight in love uh, with the game and uh, and yeah at some point I was searching for places to be able to to share and discuss about uh, the division and uh, since I'm pretty much even if I'm French I'm pretty much browsing uh, the English uh, part of the internet <laughs> and uh, and I found the, the GC Rock community so I was also new to the Discord thing I wasn't really uh, knowledgeable about it, knowing how to use it or what it was about, because uh, yeah, I never used Discord, so it was also a way to discover a new a new platform, which was interesting. So there we there you go. It was like uh, because I was curious about the division, that's why I came in. I said hello. <laughs> so you've never used Discord before? That's interesting because a lot of people they're very anxious about using Discord, and that's normally puts them off joining in a way because they've never heard of it before how was it how was it getting to grips with our discord was it confusing or you know i'm i'm, I'm an absolute geek so I, i'm all about everything that is technology uh so discovering discord uh, was a way for me to like increase my knowledge about uh uh the platforms all over the internet uh, and you should see my discord now <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. So tell me about your journey with us then from the beginning. So you obviously got some high up roles with us now. You're a clan lieutenant in Diablo and the division and you're a moderator for yeah. the community. So from start to where you are now, what's your journey been like? Um, well, at first when I joined, I was like uh, basically lurking. Um, I think at this point in time, I was wondering about raids, but um, uh, I was like ending my solo journey around the story mode of the division. So um, I think basically I was just like trying to chat and discuss about what's, what was going on in the game uh, and just seeing what the community was all about and what was like the, the biggest topics, uh, the challenges, uh, what people uh, were discussing about and and 
this is at at this point. Yeah, I I was pretty much like uh, standing a little bit afar from the community because uh, um, during my journey I left the server for some time. Uh, pretty much when Forza Horizon came out. <laughs> what, a, um, what a game! <laughs> yeah. And the issue with me is like when I like a game, I'm like 100% about this game and. I have trouble playing other games in between uh, because, like, one game is all I can do uh, every day, every hour, every time. This, this is just where, how, I, how I, the kind of player I am. And I, I had like a, a big dilemma when Forza Horizon came out, and I decided to take a break on the division, uh, which was somehow heartbreaking. But uh, I was really happy to, to discover like the, the Forza Horizon game because I've been playing this game for for a long time. But we, we will discuss this a little bit after. But yeah. um, and like during that time, I was on another Discord, the French one, uh, where I met a lot of uh, like French players for for the Horizon, and we kind of were like playing the game all the time. And at some point, um, like nearly, uh, uh, I think beginning of uh, 2022, uh, one of the guy uh, just mentioned the division. That he was looking forward to like doing achievements in it and it's just like uh light the spark out again <laughs> and it was like op opening pandora's box oh my god what have you done you put back a no no into division and uh yeah i pretty much forget forza and i was back in division and this time it was like uh, for the long for the long haul <laughs> um so yeah uh when i came back uh i started getting obsessed with raids um this is this is all I was thinking about. Uh I like a challenge and like I I have like uh OCD when it comes to challenges. So I put something like a, a seed in my mind and I cannot I cannot like uh do something else until I I do that. So my goal was to become like a, a raid leader, a shit team member, uh like being able to lead my own raids, understanding the raids and leading and helping other people do the raid for the first time. So um, I didn't take the, the road of the Shade Academy uh, you had in place. Uh, I just went into raids uh, like all the time and just uh, because it was complicated for me like to, to chat. Uh, um, as I said early, earlier before you, you, you started this interview, uh, I have trouble like sometimes following uh, what people are saying in English because it goes so fast. Yeah. When it goes in very high technical details, I kind of get lost. So I need to take my time and I don't want to be a burden. So, so I just listen. And I listen actively for a long time, very much, until I get it, until I understand what's going on. So sometimes I don't understand. I, don't, I, did, I was not understanding what people were saying, but I was checking what we had to do during the raids. And after a while, it just clicks. And then I get it, and I can move to the next part. And this is pretty much how I learned uh, uh, Iron Horse and Dark Horse. Yeah. And I think at some point I started like uh, trying to lead raids, and it has been noticed. And somehow I was invited to do like a shade agent test, and I succeeded. So uh, <laughs> I was pretty pretty much very happy <laughs> about it and well uh, done, um, hmm? well done. Congrats. thank you <laughs> thank you and um, and th this kind of overlapped with the hardcore journey but uh, this is this is also another question so we can come back to it but um, so during this time I became an LT uh, for honey badgers uh, that I was an agent in. Uh, fun fact, I was also uh, an agent in Honey Badgers uh, before I left for Forza Horizon 5. And like I did stuff like ATs don't like. I just left the server and didn't warn anybody and didn't listen to the, hey, it's been Saturday, uh, you keep, keep, will you come back? And so on, and I just left. So I got kicked. <laughs> <laughs> I was a... <laughs> So I've been a bad seed. In, 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 so. Uh, and so when, when I come back to Adi Baja, I was like, okay, I hope they won't like uh, be mad about the fact that I left once. Uh, 
but then I became an IELTS and I, yeah, in fact, I'm, some, I'm, I'm very, like, I like to be helpful. I like to share my knowledge. I like to, I like to help people who struggle. And that this is, this is also like who I am in, in the real life. So, uh, so about when, when I'm passionate about the game, like I'm passionate about division, uh, this was, it just, it just made sense Yeah. for me to, like, I, I accepted this and I was happy to, to be able to help. And uh, at some point uh, around like December 2022, uh, I've been offered the position of uh, clan commander for our fatal division, which at the time was a little bit uh, on the slow pace, right. <laughs> uh, or dead. <laughs> so uh, I had the I had the mission to like revive the the clan and like try try to make it active again. And I think I pretty much succeeded in that. Um, until in March, so four months after, um, I felt uh, the, the time I needed to invest in this uh, uh, didn't allow me to, to be very efficient at being a clan commander, so I just stepped back and has to become an LT again. Uh, yeah. um, uh, because, as I said, when I do something, I want to do it 100%, and if I feel I cannot be uh, 100%, like what I think must be the 100%, uh, I uh, just don't feel like it, and I, and I don't want to like to be a letdown. Uh, so, so that's why I stay back. And uh, all is overlapping because in September 2022, I, I've I've searched my dates. <laughs> I wasn't sure, but everything like came a little bit uh, mixed. But uh, in September 2022, I got a message, a message uh, saying, "Okay, the moderation team." Uh, has been talking about you. I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you want to kick me? No, we want, we want, we want you to you're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Am I in trouble? What did I do? Uh, did I curse in French again? Uh, okay, so, so yeah, I joined the moderation team. Um, and I've been a moderator ever, ever since. Uh, so my, I might not be the most active moderator of uh, of the team, but uh, I try to give like each time I can do something for the community in a moderation point of view. I try to do it. I try to give some insight. I try to help from some from some tickets. But uh, like there are very very active moderator. I'm just like the lurking coming from time to time moderator, but. Uh, I hope it's okay. It's still okay. No, it must be. <laughs> they haven't kicked me yet. Exactly. <laughs> they haven't kicked me yet. So, so. <laughs> but you're very oh, active in the to... community. You are very active in the community. I see your name a lot pop up. So you're, you're yeah, there. That's, that's you're true. getting involved. And I think that's part of it, right? Yeah, I think since then, uh, there's not a single day uh, in which I'm not like participating in the community, even if it's just to say hello. But uh, yeah. 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 Definitely part the Discord is pretty much open all the time on, on GC. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. So, talking about your roles, can you give us an insight into them? So, um, you know, what does it take to do your roles? Being an LT, being a moderator, and you, you mentioned about being a clan commander and you had to step back. So, yeah. they're, they're not, you know, these roles are there for a reason. It's a lot of work, isn't it? You know, what, what, what goes on? Behind the um, scenes, I, I'd say LT uh, com clan commander is a lot of work, uh, especially because uh, I had to like put a lot of time into trying to to bring the community, the, the clan, back to life. Uh, as a lot of people uh, had left, so there was a lot of like cleaning up in the clan to do, uh, trying not to to kick people that were still active and etc. And also getting the, the proper team uh, with me uh, of LTs to to like to help me in this uh, in this task. Uh, I had the luck uh, to to get good LTs, uh, including Job, who is a good uh, Discord friend of mine. Um, and um, and yeah, yeah. When you are a commander, it's like in real life when you are a manager that like you have some time to deal with some drama. And yeah. Uh, yeah, there was there was a point in the way I was saying things that were like we had we had issues uh, talking, like uh, finding like a, a proper spot to to agree 
upon, if, if that's the way to say it. Uh, and I was like, um, I want to keep it a little, more, a little bit more lighthearted. And Crown Commander was not uh, lighthearted enough for me. Not that I didn't want to get invested in it, but uh, at this point in time, uh, this is not something that I needed from, from what I was doing on the Discord server. Yeah. So, you know, I give my heart and my soul to everything that I do. So I'm also a very sensitive person. So, the, so this, was, this was a little bit too much for me. Yeah. I'm not trying to deter people from from accessing to this position. It just wasn't for me. That's why we asked the question, uh, because a lot of people want these roles, and they're not just roles and your name's a pretty colour. The things go in, and like when you get to clan commander level, a lot of politics are involved as well. So it's <laughs> it, it, yeah, it's not easy, yeah. at, is it? At, at, at some point when you climb the ladder, there are, it, it's about politics, mm -hmm. it's about drama, it's about like, uh, there, there is a lot, a lot of stuff going on. I, I have enough of that in my real life. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> at yeah. work. Uh, yeah. And like when it, like, there are things that obviously happen on the Discord server, uh, especially when you're a moderator. Uh, so there are things that are funny and things that are less funny and we are able to deal with it. And this is great because uh, the moderation team is a, uh, is a very close community. People are, are are always willing to listen to you and share experiences and, and discuss and just let go, uh, let's team off uh, when things go crazy. But uh, yeah, it was it's it's different when it's a big, big, big uh, community rather than just being a single like clan commander, which is like there are other clan commanders you can talk with, but like managing your own clan, it's something that like takes a lot of work and energy and. Yeah, you are, you have to know that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and being an LT, I prefer. <laughs> uh, uh, being an LT is able to like uh, help newer members uh, find their place in the Discord because uh, uh, the GC Rock Discord can be quite overwhelming at first. Uh, there are a lot of channels, there are a lot of roles, there are a lot of uh, possibilities, and and. It's easy to, to see people get lost. Uh, uh, most of the people that come, uh, they want to do raid at first. Uh, there are also other requests, but the raids are the ones that come first, and like you have to to, to to orient those people to to what they have to do, where they have to ask. Uh, so this is a part like of uh, being a, a good uh, uh, tour guide <laughs> at first. <laughs> quickly and efficiently and but uh, uh, more more uh, the thing i like more about being an LT is like taking clan members or other members from the discord uh like playing with them uh grouping uh, grouping yeah grouping up with them yeah. uh in the game and like uh, just share a good game have a laugh uh discuss about the game or whatever and th this is what also makes me stick with the community because uh I've played, I think, with a lot of, of people there. Uh, maybe that's why they put uh, they, they put my name in the list. But uh, probably. But, uh, yeah, it was uh, it, it's a good way to like discover new people, and I love this uh, like talking with people. Everything is not just about the game; it's, it's about like uh, being together, uh, sharing together. So, so this is also an important part of the Discord, and like NLT is like a good a uh, good way to. To help those people meet and get together and uh, and yeah, experience this too. Yeah, you answered that great. Thank you. <laughs> what? So moving on to the next question, then. Uh, what? What is your favorite? Well, I think you've kind of just covered that in a way. But what is your favorite part of being a member of this community? And what advice would you give to any new members joining us? My fifth part is, uh, and, it, and it's a very important one. Uh, in my in my personal life, I'm fighting again against everything that is toxicity in my life. Uh, people that are being toxic are just like toxicity in general. Mm. Uh, and and the community at GC Rock is very inclusive. They open everybody. Uh, regardless of uh, genre, uh, race, uh, color, uh, origins, whatever, the game you like, the game you don't like, uh, there is no sense of judgment because like, every single individual is special and everyone is entitled to 
like uh, what they they are and like and like and and want to do. And I like that we are this open community, very welcoming, very very open, and uh, we don't judge anybody, anyone. Like yeah. so yeah. so so yeah. The, this is this is something that I value very much and where I recognize myself in. You know. No, that's great and, because uh, it's our number one that's our goal that's our number one value you know it's like it's good it's good that you say that because it's so important that you know i think in life in real life in in online gaming communities it could be so judgmental people don't have a voice and it, they just become a very toxic environment so it's that's our aim i'm glad that it i'm glad you, that you've said that it's it's our number one aim yeah this is a uh, this is a uh, essential mm. very essential so, yeah. yeah and the advice i could give to any new members uh the moderators would want me to say read the rules <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> but the, the the advice i give the most is just have fun you are a low level, have fun. You are, you are new to the game, have fun. You are a very experimented person, have fun. Just like whatever the way you play, whatever you like, uh, whoever you are, uh, whatever your age or whatever, just like as long as you have fun, as long as it's, as it's something fun for you, like just do it and don't let anybody say otherwise because uh, we all have different, way, different ways of having fun. And as long as we keep that in mind, uh, we will all get along and like have great times together great advice great advice so Drop <laughs> <laughs> um we're going to move away from discord in a second but before we okay. do you you the discord name known as the robo what where does yeah. that come from what's the meaning behind it it's my Discord name. It's my gaming. It's my gamer tag. It's uh, what I've been called in the gaming uh, world uh, since I started gaming. Uh, it comes from a, from a, a cartoon I was watching when I was a kid. Uh, its name was Ulysses Thirty One. Like it's a it's a futuristic version of the Odyssey, you know, uh, and. Like it was in the distant future with like uh, spaceships and whatever, and uh, Ulysses was like a uh, ban. I, I don't remember the story, but and he had he had a companion. Mm. But, uh, I mean, he had a kid, and this kid had a, a small companion. It was a little robot. Yeah, a little red robot. You know where I'm coming with this. And uh, the name of the robot was Nuno. So, and Nuno is a short. Is like a short for my 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 first name which is arno okay and it's you, you english people cannot pronounce my name correctly so you say you just say oh no <laughs> <laughs> which is accurate uh so short short is no no so uh when, when i was a kid they were they were calling me uh, no no le robot okay no no le, le petit robot so so i just like uh, to take took this and so the Z, Z E in the middle is like it's it's supposed to mean the okay. It's no 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 robot. In fifty nine, it's it's not very it's not very original. It's like uh, the number of the department where I live in France. So okay. <laughs> okay. That's a big story for nothing. <laughs> People want to know. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can call me no 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 is good. No, okay, no no. <laughs> so moving away from Discord then. Um, I'm sure a lot of people would like to know more about you. Um, a lot of people already know, but can you tell us more about the person behind the gamer tag? And you can share anything you like. Are you sure they want to know more about me? Definitely. I know I do. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, Well, I'm 44. Uh, I'm French. Looking very good for 44. Can you tell? Are you surprised? (laughs) This is brand new information. (laughs) Uh, I'm a father of two. Uh, I got a son who's nine and a daughter who's ten now. So Good ages. Th- this is your future at some point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and um, I've got a wonderful wife uh, 
who's not the mother of my kids, uh, but I got a wonderful wife uh, who's been, uh, we've been married now for almost four years and together uh, for eight years. And, uh, and she's a light of, uh, she's she also a reason I am the person I am today because like she's encouraging me to be my 200% self every time. Uh, she's very supportive of everything that I do, uh, and uh, and also my gaming habits. <laughs> my gaming habits. <laughs> so that's a good point. Very good point. Um, and apart from this, uh, as I told you, uh, when I got like it, it, it started very early. Uh, when I got something in mind, I want like I, I kind of uh, create challenge for myself in my head. So uh, I've done a lot of stuff uh, in my life. I've done uh, some acting. I've done some magic uh, on stage. Uh, I've done. Uh, I've, I've been singing for a rock band. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of stuff. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, so like, and like, if I have to sum up this, I am some. I'm someone who's very curious about everything. Uh, and, you know, it goes with the the fact that. I don't like people that are intolerant to each other because like there is always a backstory to everything. Yeah, definitely. But, so I, I like to be to keep an open mind on everything and I and I like like to explore new waves, new things. Uh, so so this is just how I roll. So um, right now it's gaming. I'm pretty much deep uh, knee deep in the in the gaming uh, world, but <laughs> maybe it will change with time. I don't know. We don't know. Uh, I'm a lazy ass. Also, <laughs> I like to. I like, with my wife, we like to just like uh, chill in the in the couch, watch uh, TV series, and just enjoy enjoy the time. Uh, we like. I'm a very big family person. Uh, I like to to see my family every time that I can. Yeah. Family and close friends is what like uh, make the world go around right now. Uh, we live in a pretty crazy world, so I think it's important uh, as of right now to. To know where the the true meaning of life is, uh, and family is a big part of it. Uh, so, so yeah, that's it. Uh, I don't know what I what no. I can tell more. <laughs> <laughs> is that enough? That is enough. Yeah, I'm very intrigued in the singing and the magician magic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There are some videos on YouTube, but I won't let you know where they are. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> can you let me know privately? I promise not to share. Yeah, DM afterwards. Okay, (laughs) that's awesome. Um, I love what you said there as well. Family and friends is what makes the world go round. You know, it is a crazy world, and sometimes you've just got to remember what's important. Um, Yeah, gaming. Let's talk about gaming then. So it's it's a shared interest between all of the members of a Discord community. So. Similar to how you gave us a journey of your Discord life, uh, can you give us a, di- a journey of your gaming life? You know, how long you've been gaming for? You know, take us on a journey for your gaming life. Um, when I was a kid, and it was a long time ago, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, we didn't grow up with uh, much money in the house, so I was watching my friends with gaming consoles, and I couldn't have one at home, so. Uh, my first like gaming experiences were always uh, into my friends' house houses, like the Super Nintendo, the the Sega Mega Drive, and all these first gen consoles. <laughs> uh, I experienced them, but uh, not not for myself, just like playing with friends. Um, until at some point, I think when I was ten or eleven, uh, Dad uh, bought a computer. Uh, and uh, at this time, um, there was a lot of, uh, <laughs> of uh, like a floppy disk going around with games, you know, uh, it yeah. went like that. So uh, I started playing a lot of game and I actually bought, bought my, first, my first game in 1992. And it was Ultima 7. It's a role playing game okay. uh, in isometric 3D from the top, just pretty much just like what Diablo is right now. And uh, this game was only in English, in old English, to make things more complicated. And this is pretty much how I learned English in my life. My first base of English were, were because of this game. I played this game for three hours with my dictionary on the side. And uh, this is what taught me like 
the English I know today, so it's it's not very good, but it's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been a PC player uh, up until late, like I think two, 2002, 2003. Uh, I was like... Uh, after I was graduating uh, middle school, I think uh, I don't know what the correspondence is in um, in, in in UK or in the US, but uh, it was the time where Counter Strike was becoming a thing. Okay. The first the first era of the the first uh, like big LAN arena uh, parties like uh, hundred PC uh, Counter Strike being like the first competitive teams coming up to to these parties. So this is the time. Uh, like I was playing Counter Strike with uh, with friends. I was part with a uh, uh, of an um, like um, do you say it an association like a, a group of people yeah 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 like yeah. non profit organization something like that um, which was at my school and which was uh, which was um, managing the biggest uh, land arena party in my uh, in the region where I live. And um, so I was a member of it. So I I, uh, I organized a few, uh, and it was very interesting. But like after this, I found a girlfriend, and I dropped gaming, and <laughs> <laughs> and and I and I took a long break from gaming uh, up until 2012. So I haven't like really played any video games uh, apart from the occasional uh, Mario Kart, uh, maybe in between. But uh, until 2012, uh, a few months before my my daughter uh, was born. Uh, I had like a little bonus at uh, at work, and I went out and bought myself uh, an Xbox 360 with it, and uh, with a uh, Need for Speed. Uh, yeah. It was uh, it wasn't rivals; it was something else, uh, the white jacket. But yeah, so and GTA 4, and I I I've heard. During the ten, the ten years uh, I was not gaming, I heard a lot about GTA, but never played it. And discovering GTA 4 was quite a shock for me. And Need for Speed was an old favorite, all time favorite because I was when I was playing on PC, I was always playing like uh, car uh, yeah. car games. So so this I, was, I I played the first Need for Speed. You know, <laughs> it was it was very crazy, but. Um, so yeah, I went back to my old love for with Need for Speed and like discovered uh, GTA, which was a new kind of game, and I've never played a game like this. And like this was kind of a shock for me. And uh, and I was discovering what the the console world was about because I never had a console in my life. So so it was also oh, pretty sure. much to me. Yeah, yeah. I, I I was completely. Uh, uh, new to the achievements, I didn't know what was the the stuff that was popping up. Uh, on my screen when I was doing stuff in the game, I was like, "What? <laughs> okay, that's good. I've I've done this, but uh, why why do you say it?" <laughs> you know? uh, but this was funny. This was funny. Uh, funny things, and you can maybe you can relate to that. I was giving like uh, I was feeding my daughter with the bottle uh, mm. with her on a cushion on my lap while I was playing yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the first <Spirit> game. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I. That's so, the first time I played the division. It was that my daughter was asleep on me while I was playing the division two day free to play weekend <laughs> no. yeah. so you know uh, my, my daughter's first memories would be the roaming engines of uh of cars on the tv and you would be the, yeah. the rifle i know right <laughs> <laughs> she's a baby should have forgot <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny um and yeah so i've 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 stayed uh like uh, with the xbox uh world uh, ever since i got like every single Xbox that went out uh, in between at, up until the, the Series X uh, that I've been able to to get uh, the first time it went out on pre-order. Uh, like I went, I was at work and I opened like ten browser uh, windows and I was refreshing everything at once <laughs> <laughs> to get to get my console. I want I wanted it and I was happy to get it uh, to get it uh, at the very beginning and um, and I've been playing mostly like. I think the game I played mostly uh, uh, up until Division was like Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Uh, I put 300 hours into it, and I was like, "Oh my god, this is the most I have ever played a game!" And like 2,000 hours and plus uh, in Division Two, here I am. Division re was really a big, big change in my, in my gaming life. Yeah, uh, because I never played like shooters, looter shooters uh, game before, so also it was a discovery. 
I didn't know what to expect, and uh, I've been drawn into it. Oh my god! <laughs> addictive, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was addictive. Mm. Uh, there was something about this game that just like uh, that just clicked with me somehow. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if it's in a good way or a bad way, but it clicked. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely clicked. <laughs> Oh, and is that it up to today? Is so there division since then? Well, apart from your Forza break? If I, if I, apart from what? Your Forza break, you said you took a break to play Forza Horizon. Yeah, I pretty much played Division, uh, Forza, back to Division, and now it's uh, Diablo. Diablo. <laughs> Have you played all of yeah, Diablos, I... or is this your first Diablo? Uh, I, I actually played the first one on my PC. Mm. Uh, a long time ago too, yeah, uh, yeah. but never played any other Diablo games uh, in between, so I can say I'm pretty much new to the franchise, yeah. and I'm loving it so far, uh, and um, the team that uh, that is part of the, the actual TSW clans uh, right now is just awesome, so we have, we have a great time in Diablo, awesome. and uh, I feel a little bit ashamed because I haven't touched Division since the last update. I was just going to ask you now, how are you finding managing Diablo in the Division? <laughs> nah, I can, Diablo. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very hard for me, it's mm. very hard for me to, like, I, I maybe at some point, and I'm saying I'm still I'm still uh, like discovering Diablo and I'm I've not yet like made my mind or felt like uh, it could click from a, like a three hour three hundred hours game into a two thousand hour game. You know what I mean? Yeah. So because you don't invest that much time in a game if like something's off or you are not really really into it. So uh, it's still like it's still early in the game. Yeah. Uh, starting Division Two, I I I would never. I've written that I would spend so much time on this game. Never, never, never could could have seen that coming. So, so maybe Diablo will will be like that, or maybe not. And I, the the important part is that I'm having a lot of fun right now. It's all that matters. This is what is more important. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all that matters. It's all that matters. It's brilliant. So I do want to, in fact, before we get onto the hardcore stuff. You mentioned quite a few yeah. games there. So if there's one game that you had to choose as the best game that you have ever played, what is it and why? This is a hard question mm -hmm. because uh, I, haven't played that I haven't played that many games, but I've played like wonderful games. And like you, you I would say there, there is a few contenders uh, in this selection because uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey was really a wonderful, wonderful game. And this is one with a lore, a story, uh, all that evolved around it that is just beautiful, uh, including the fact that the open world is also very beautiful. So, so this game is crazy, as well as Red Dead Redemption 2. Mm. These are two really, 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 really incredible games. But uh, thinking about it, uh, I said for some time I've played the Wii a little bit. And... I've played Super Mario Galaxy and Super Mario Galaxy 2, and for me this was a perfect game. Okay. And this is one of the games that that uh, made me that created a leap for me uh, between a casual player and a hundred percent uh, overachiever uh, player. You know what I mean? And Mario Galaxy 2, it just it just made my mind clicked on this because uh, like. Playing the regular game, getting your your first stars and so on, it's just, it, you can have fun. It's it's just uh, you can have a very pleasant time. But getting like, if you know the game, you will redo all the game to get like, but with uh, difficulties with handicaps uh, to get the full game, the one hundred percent achievement, all the stars, and the the last level is just like crazy difficult and. This is something that I've struggled with for a long time, but I wanted to get it, and and it totally changed my my approach to gaming. Uh, between the game I like to play casual and the game I like to play to play very intensely. So so for me this was a perfect game because about you you cannot like it's 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 a very good game. It's very well done and it was very entertaining and very challenging too. So 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 I would say this one. And did you do it? Did you one hundred percent it? Of course, yeah. <laughs> of course. 
Yeah, it took a lot of sweat and time, but uh, yeah, I did it. I did it. I never played a Mario. I love Mario, um, but I've never played Mario Galaxy. Maybe. Yeah, and this time, like playing with the like the new trucks, and uh, it was mm. <laughs> man, that was something. <laughs> so going back to the Division Two, um, yep. you're well known within the community uh, for your love for the hardcore mode, right? So let, let's talk about hardcore. Um, Hardcore mode on a division, we all know what it is. You get one life. It's a it's a permadeath mode. Permadeath mode. Yeah, yeah. Wait, and you you you've been a long time advocate for. You've been asking for LFG channels in the community for a while. Yeah. And <laughs> when did you start playing hardcore? And how did you fall in love with it? Um, uh, I I I want to be able to pinpoint where I started exactly because I had my first hardcore character for a long time. Um. Uh, when I first played Division on soft on softcore, uh, like I finished the the story, and like when I watched Shade Level like two, I did some shepherding, and I ended, I ended up um, into an heroic uh, setting difficulty control point with a, another French guy, and holy moly, uh, I. It it was crazy. It was overly difficult for me because I was just like getting my watch and um, and I freaking loved it. And um, and since I was shed level two, the guy took me into his under his wing and said, "Okay, we're gonna jail you up and uh, and you're gonna you're gonna come with me." And it took me on a journey and into Eric, and I never went back like uh, on lower difficulties after that. And um, so starting from that. I played a lot of uh, very difficult uh, Division 2 and I heard about the hardcore mode and and I was I was not bored with the with the content. Uh, don't get me wrong because I, I keep enjoying playing this, but I was like, okay, so what if I put myself into the challenge of not dying? And the game allows me to do that, so so this is a good idea. Uh, am I at first, it was like a, a battle with myself. So uh, you can you think you're good at a game, but like when the game has permadeath, uh, this is the ultimate test. You know, this is like uh, there is no um, pride or whatever. Like you feel you, you feel you're good. You say, okay, I'm the best division player. You go in a car, you die. Yeah, that's it. That's you with yourself. Uh, you don't have anything else to say. So, so I started my hardcore journey and say I'm going to take my time and I'm going to do it slow. And I started slow and I played with another French friend, and we were we were only playing together for for a time. But it was like we had trouble like uh, getting getting ourselves together. So 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 like my character just like slowly slowly uh, faded away uh, because I was playing the regular game. And at at some point, I saw there was a hardcore community that was like big, active, fairly active. Um, there was a uh, Harley Quinn, there was Cookie. They were playing hardcore, and uh, kind of gave gave me the the will to 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 put back the the hardcore character from the drawer and uh, like keep keep uh, making like uh, keep keep making uh, a go go on upper levels. And uh, I start playing back with Cookie and with Hardy, and uh, and this time I was in for for good. Um, so I remember at first I was like shaking when doing the mission, the the bosses, uh, you name it. And uh, but but I starting like you know to get really really hooked, and I started like searching on the internet, uh, looking for other people who were playing hardcore. And uh, uh, that's how, uh, at some point, I found uh, a guy uh, talking about the builds I advise people to use. And I saw that this, the way he was saying things, uh, he's not uh, active anymore. Uh, he wasn't active at the time I found this video. Uh, but he had, he had an approach saying, you have to have, to, to have fun in hardcore. And I, <laughs> I couldn't agree more. So <laughs> uh, I'm like, OK. So I put the build together and tried it. and. It worked. It was very good. So I, I said, okay, I have to share it with everybody uh, because uh, I wanted like the hardcore community to be able to get new people in and say, 
Hardcore is one thing, uh, but if you are scared because uh, you think your build will not uh, be good enough, uh, like here it is, you have a start point. You can farm from this, we can help you farm from this, and we're gonna have fun together on Hardcore together. And uh, and that's pretty much how, much, like, how it evolved. Uh, but I was very, very into, into it, so I think I went a little bit further than everybody else because, uh, once again, I had another seed in my, in my head. This, this was the trophies you put on the, on the Discord server, and yeah. I saw that nobody had done the, the legendary uh, missions on Hardcore in the Discord, and I wanted to be the first one to reach 1,000 shade, uh, shade level uh, with Hardcore on Xbox. Because I think on PC and PS it was already done. Yeah. So so this pretty much have been my 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 goal, my objective, and I just like focused on that, uh, and I couldn't stop playing hardcore until I got that. <laughs> uh, so I took a lot of people with me in my journey, and people seemed to enjoy the builds uh, I shared with everybody, and uh, and they were saying it's no nose build, but I've always been saying that. Like, I'm just sharing information that I found because I was searching for it, and I think it was good to share with with people. So, so I, I'm sorry if you are disappointed. These are not my builds because uh, I have to say, even if I played Division a lot, I'm a very uh, I'm, I'm very bad at understanding how builds work. I understand at some point how the synergy works now that I know, but I am not like the mathematicians that some of the uh, members of the Discord are uh, when they start saying like writing mad stuff and everything i, I cannot do that yeah. and i cannot improvise a build that that came out of my head uh my friend job is very good about that he's like the build uh, frankenstein he creates like build uh, mixing pieces that shouldn't go together it, it, it does something and <laughs> i find it very crazy and it's very interesting but i'm not i'm not like that i i'm i'm more like trying i'm trying more to gather information and spread the word for, for people to to be able to have something to start with and like experience the, the journey the way I experienced it. Um, and so it, it led to the fact that I reached uh, Shade 1000 and uh, I put together a team with uh, Drew, Ash and uh, Cookie uh, to start training on the legendary missions. And uh, it took a little while because they wanted to get uh, like their watch uh, up enough uh, to be able to, to, to partake in this. But uh, we did like some extensive training together, uh, the four of us, and, uh, and in like the course of five days, we did the three uh, back to back. Uh, so you did them, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, we did. Yes, we did. Wow, so uh, what, what builds would you use for that? The one that I shared in your channels, <laughs> <laughs> in the in the hardcore, uh, I, I've pinned them in the new in the new server also. But there is like a, a skill build and a tank build. Uh, these are two builds that are perfectly good for hardcore. But this, the skill the skill build relies on armor region, and uh, it's it's a wonderful build for legendary even on on soft core character. And so, I, of course, I've replicated all the builds on my soft core. Uh, characters because i wanted to train with my uh, with my regular character before like training uh, training on hardcore and this is what we all did uh, to train and uh, yeah at some point we said like just, drew said like, just rip the band-aid uh, if we kept saying we need one one more training one more training we will never do it so okay it's now let's go let's uh, switch to hardcore let's go to the ua and let's get this over with and yeah uh, this is this is the kind of time in your life when you, where you need to change pants afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> so hard. Yeah. Fair dues to you all. Like you must be the only team to have done them on the Discord server. I think so. I think so. Hmm. Oh. Uh, maybe we, we are not. We probably we are. We are certainly not the first one to have done it uh, with Division Player because I, I've seen that on, on for a few guys on um, on YouTube, but. Uh, I was glad to be that we could be able like to to inspire and and like uh, and do that for for the community, you know, because uh, yeah, I I, li I like to I like to think that like I want to say if I can do it, uh, anybody can do it because 
like I'm just a regular gamer. I'm just a regular guy. I'm a dad. I, you know, I I play also for fun, and I can I can succeed in doing the most difficult, challenging in one game. So so this was not an easy task, but this was like a, a very very the journey was very interesting. Yeah. You know? This is what you do that 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 lead you to this moment in time that, that is interesting. Uh, the training was good. The the, the friendship between uh, us four was was awesome. So sounds like and I need to I make I... a harder challenge for you. <laughs> <laughs> when I come back from Diablo, yes. <laughs> will you play Diablo hardcore? I I will soon start a hardcore character. Yes. Yeah. They were all asking me to do so, and it came out like say, "Oh, Arno, <laughs> no, no, come, on, come on, there is a hardcore mode. Go, go <laughs> from the get go." I was like, <laughs> "No, I want like that, just like in Division. I want to 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 learn and understand the mechanics of the game before I start a hardcore character. Because of course, yeah. I don't want to die for for nothing. So I'm pushing myself like to to understand what's going on right now." But this is what I like about hardcore. It, it changes the way you you play the game when you have just one, with just one life. Uh, your your approach to the game is a totally different one. The way you play, the way you try to perceive things, and even the the oldest division players they enjoy uh, this renewed challenge because um, when you play division, you know you can die, you know you can respawn, even if it makes you lose some time because you're on heroic, you restart at the beginning of the mission. Uh, still, you 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 start again on hardcore. When you lose, like all your stuff, all your gear, uh, you have to do the story again. This is a whole other uh, dimension. So this uh, creates like a kind of stress. I don't want. I want to have fun, but I don't want to have stress when I play. But like this this stress, like your hardcore death. It eats you. It eats you really, really hard. Like uh, for me, I'm like like uh, five minutes. I stare into the void, and I'm like, "What?" How many just deaths happened? have you had? Uh just two. See, I've never, I've never lost a hardcore character. Given I've not gone to the extent you have, um, I've only ever completed. I think I've done about I don't know about ten dark hours, say. But it's been with very experienced teams. And the only hardcore character I lost was because of a charity stream. And or was it? Yeah. I think it's a charity stream. No, it's a twenty-four hour stream, and uh, and if I got so many members, I had to kill my hardcore character. So that happened. That's the only <laughs> way I've lost a hardcore character. I'm currently working on one again, and you're kind of like inspiring me to take that further and go and do those attempt those legendaries because I imagine that must be some of the best time you've had on the division. Oh my god! Um, like uh, DOA pretty much went uh, very good. Mm. Uh, there was there was a time where uh, I think Joe uh, got shot by the boss at the end and started losing his armor. But like he, he, he kind of took cover. And that was okay. It it wasn't really. It, it it was a fun moment. It was like uh, I cannot swear it, but it's like uh, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. <laughs> and uh, but on. Um, on Roosevelt, uh, I almost got killed. I, I was on the ground uh, and I got revived uh, because one of the drones like just shoot me a rocket uh, right in my face, and I wasn't like aware of this. And uh, in uh, Capital, Drew almost died too. Uh, like a chunga popped out in the popped out in the stairs at the end uh, because we were fighting from the from the beginning from the stairs from yeah. like we, we didn't and and. The ads they can come on the stair on the right, and uh, it's very random. It's very rare. We had a dog once, but this time it was a changa, and he started like shooting off with the with the eye, the eye uh, like he was higher from us. And I saw the the red circle around Joe, like melting like ice cream in the sun. And I didn't think about it one second. I just roll over to him and start pressing X. I, I didn't even care if I could die at this time. And I press X, it was like a one millimeter of health wow. back before before I died. And he, and he survived. And, and it's all on his, on his stream. He, he put it on YouTube. But uh, And we survived and we succeeded. And honestly, I said, uh, Drew, when you saved me on Roosevelt, I said, you owe me one. Uh, I owe you one. And so so the, the record was settled at this time. <laughs> but yeah. Even when you play legendary on softcore and you project yourself into the hardcore uh, game mode, saying, "Okay, can I succeed this this mission without me dying?" Uh, there is still like some 
you you go lighthearted even if you say okay i'm not go i'm trying not to die because it's training but honestly when you really really do the legendary uh and you're on your hardcore character there is a, a such a, a different approach and the way you feel it in your guts it's uh it, it's crazy it's very crazy it's the toughest content yeah. in the game like it's tougher than raids so yeah yeah like fair play i i can't I, I you're making me hungry for it so these are on youtube these clips yeah yeah they are on drew's uh, youtube i could send the i could send you the, the link after please do i haven't seen yeah. them and i really want to watch them and um and yeah, we, we we were talking about uh, like doing uh, Manning Zoo and uh, and Tidal Basin, but uh, we needed a break after <laughs> this stream. Maybe um, so there is a Diablo in Community Trophies version two. We uh, yeah. <laughs> we give you a reason. I, oh my god! <laughs> my wife, my wife will blame you for that. <laughs> <laughs> They're hard. I, I, the zoo, I think, is doable, but Tidal Basin? Oof. Uh, I would say the, the opposite. I think Tidal the... Basin is uh, pretty much straightforward, okay. while the zoo is, is crazy because uh, I have to rethink all the builds that we are going to use for this. But uh, I, I like the idea of having this as a challenge, so yeah. So, yeah. I'm going to come back for this, <laughs> most, most definitely. I'm going to make sure it happens. But incre- absolutely incredible, honestly. Like you certainly must be the first and maybe only team to do it in our community. And uh, I'm glad it's the trophies that made you do that. <laughs> we had we had the trophy for this. Hey, yeah, it's uh, the eagle, the eagle uh, head. Yeah, For, yeah. So you got the trophies. Yeah, yeah, we got we got it. Yeah. So moving on from hardcore, then. You've really, I really want to jump on. I'm going to do a hardcore stream this week because of this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting to the end of this now. No, no. This is just for fun, this question. I like to end it with a fun question. No hard feelings, okay? So don't feel bad about people you don't choose. If you were stranded on a desert island, but you could choose only three members of the community to take with you, one game and one meal for the rest of your life, what and who would they be? Uh, it's it, it's a very difficult difficult question. I know you say no hard feeling, but uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm the kind of person who don't like to choose. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's one person I want to take with me because uh, because uh, this is the most significant friendship. I, I found from the Discord and I got from the Discord is, is Job. Uh, we talk a lot uh, and we really got along together and we, we had a, a lot of good games together. So so definitely Job will be part of uh, of my desert uh, island trip. Uh, honestly, there are so many great people in the in the community right now. I won't be able to to say two other names. Okay. <laughs> Anyone else you want to shout out though? Then you can choose more than two if you want. I can bring my legendary teams, right? Yeah, because we for the legendary hardcore, we call ourselves the legendaries. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, one meal. Uh, make it make it some like uh, fast food meat, <laughs> <laughs> like. Uh, uh, a big, big, old, good, juicy burger. Yeah, that, that, that would be that would be enough. <laughs> and one game is it supposed to be a video game? Because otherwise, I take a, a, a deck of cards. Deck of cards. It could be any game. Deck yeah. of cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loads of different games deck with cards. deck of cards. <laughs> Reminds me of the magic. Yeah, you could do some magic. You could find some pebbles and play poker. <laughs> I, I've learned to like some techniques for poker, but uh, yeah, there, there's a whole uh, world between knowing stuff and doing stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, no, no. Do you have any final words for the community to close this off? Uh, I would just say uh, thank you, thank you for welcoming me, for accepting me, for being the Frenchie that I am, and uh, and for being. Uh, the awesome members that I know that I share uh, stuff every day with. So, 
So I have nothing much more to say. I feel I feel good. I feel good uh, in the community. I feel good with the people in the community. So I just say thank you. I want to thank you. It's been great getting to know you more. It's been uh, I I know you, but I feel like I know you a lot more now. So thank you for being open, honest, and uh, it's been great talking to you. I really appreciate you joining this today. Thank you. We had a great time sharing, and thank you for uh, giving me the opportunity to share also my story. Thank you. You're a legend. Thank you very much. You're legendary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, legend idea, I like that. <laughs> uh, appreciate that, Robo. Well, no, no. That was really yeah, good. Thanks. It was really good.